Hi guys, it's your boy Harry Kings in the building. Harry Kings Beats is all about the FL Studio. FL Studio for the beginners. Like I said, FL Studio for the beginners. Please, if this is your first time of seeing this FL Studio program, I guess you are welcome. I guess you are welcome. And if you find yourself among the guys who started using the FL Studio program lately, I also say welcome. I also say welcome. There are some couple of things here you are going to learn. Okay. Now, today, I will be unveiling secrets. Unveiling secrets. 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 FL beginners must know. Secrets. FL beginners must know or secrets for secrets every FL beginner must avoid when producing okay now number one number one secret is before you before you open the FL program the moment you open the FL program or if you want to create a project in the FL program you must first of all have an idea idea have an idea of what you want to produce you must have the rhythm or the progression of what you want to produce on your head or else if you open the fs studio program without any goal without any idea of what you want to produce your you are going to be frustrated you will have no direction you will just waste time in that place you just waste time in the which you just you just waste your time just trying to create something but if you have the idea of what you want to produce the progression the moment you drop down the progression the reading rhythm of what you want to produce it will open more room for more inspiration for you okay first idea and first secret you must first secret every fl studio beginner must avoid is one before producing creating a beat or a song make sure you have an idea the picture of what you want to produce okay now second secret which you can say second thing every fl beginner must avoid in 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 in, in the fl studio program when you open your fl studio software your fl studio program whenever you open your fl studio program you are going to see something like this you will see something like this please turn it off or disable it or delete it why because this is the fruitful limiter this has series of jobs it does on the fl one this fruity limiter can be used for mastering one it can be used for compressing two then the third day it can be used for side chaining there are many things it does now let's look at it this way if this is on and this is used for mastering the moment you start creating your beats just know that you are already producing you're already creating a beat at a master level and after creating your beat if you now start mixing your beats you see if you now start mixing your beats and master it again your beat will be sounding weird your beat will be sounding weird and distorted noisy because you started producing the beat at a master level at a master level and it is going to make your work to be noisy and your work will not be clean so second advice which you must take and second mistake you must avoid make sure whenever you open your fl program if the fruity limiter is on disable it or you delete it then thirdly third mistake every fl producer every every fl beginner must avoid before you start creating your beats before you start creating your beats make sure the instrument you are using are the right instrument if you are using the wrong instrument for example you want to create a around b soulful song and you started you start using hip-hop trap instrument you are going to get frustrated because it is going to change the narrative of the song and you are going to have issues with frequency program 
pro problem and mixing you are going to have problem with mixing it is going to frustrate you every genre of song every kind of song has its own instruments that goes with it arrow and b songs have their own arrow and b instruments which you must select that are good for them hip-hop songs have hip-hop instruments that fits the genre of song okay and others so whenever you are producing any song make sure you use the song that accompanies that genre kind of song okay don't use a a a, a instrument the instrument they use for producing r&b to produce hip-hop you are going to get frustrated okay then lastly the fourth mistake every fl studio beginner must avoid when as soon as you start creating your beats whenever you are creating your beats don't get tempted by as you are creating your beats you are at the same time doing the mixing and gain staging you are going to get frustrated you will get frustrated so yes sometimes you may just choose to turn down a particular sound that is very noisy that is that is overshadowing the instrument is permitted just turn it down a little bit but don't start creating as you are creating beats the same time you're trying to mix all the instruments together at the same time no 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 you will be frustrated and if you don't take care you may run out of inspiration run out of idea when trying to 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 gain stage or to balance the sound everything has time there is time for beat you create your beats after creating your beat when you know you are true with the creating of your beat you now create time for the mixing of the beat mixing needs attention mixing needs focus mixing needs patience so if you must create beats have a time for creating beats and if you have time for mixing have if if it's, if it's time for mixing create a special time for mixing the beat so guys i have to stop here you must take note of these four principles four mistakes you must take note of these four mistakes and avoid them strictly to the effort beginners number one you must have the picture the idea of what you want to produce number two you must turn off your fruit limiter whenever you open your fl program number three choose the right instrument that fits that song every songs have their own instrument that fits it every kind of song every genre of song have their own instrument that fits it then finally don't mix when you are still creating your beat finish the beat create finish the beat the beat aspect before jumping into the mixing aspect all right guys i believe it is if this advice if this advice and tips is helpful to you please don't fail to subscribe please don't fail to subscribe so that you can be getting tips from me please 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 do don't fail to subscribe i love you guys i will be signing off from here take care guys thanks for your time one love